In this video I will explain how to use both ZHA and Zigbee 2MQTT in the same time in Home Assistant. So let's head on to Home Assistant and let's do it. Head on to Settings, scroll down, click System and find Hardware. Click on Hardware and then click on All Hardware. In the search bar just type Serial and you'll find your existing ZHA coordinator. Make sure you copy this link. Then go to Settings again, Devices and Services, and find your ZHA integration. Click on ZHA, and then you'll see your coordinator. Just click on Settings, and make sure you write down the channel number. This is important because you don't want it to be on the same channel with your uh, MQTT. Now plug in your SkyConnect, and then go to System again, and then Hardware. After you plugged it in, both should be in here. Click All Hardware again. Serial and you'll see both of your uh, coordinators. Make sure you write the links. Then go to settings add-ons and then you need to search for another add-on. Search in the search bar Mosquito. Just click on Mosquito and then click install. Go to configuration, leave everything as it is, but one thing we need to change we need to add a username and a password. At Logins, click Add and choose a username and a password as you wish. Click Add and then Save. After it's saved, just click Restart. Now head on to Add-ons again, and in the right-hand side you have the three dots. Go to Repositories and make sure your Home Assistant add-on Zigbee MQTT is there. If not, just paste in the link, which I will leave in the description, and then click Close. Then in the search bar, look for Zigbee MQTT. Click on the first option there, and then you just click Install. After the installation has finished, just head on to Add-ons again, find Zigbee to MQTT, go to Configuration, and in the Base Topic option, just write Zigbee to MQTT. But what's really important here is in the Serial options. Here, you can add the port for the new USB dongle you have. In the port section, just paste in the uh, link from the USB dongle we found earlier in the hardware section. Make sure it's not your ZHA, it's the new one. Then in the adapter section, just write EZSP and the rest of the options remain unchanged. Make sure you save before you go back. From the add-on section, again, go to Mosquito and start the add-on. Just click Start and make sure it's starting. So you need to go to log section and have a look there, see if you get any errors while it's starting. Uh, this will take a while, not too long, but as you can see everything seems fine in my Mosquito add-on, but have a look just in case, otherwise it won't work. Then go to settings again, devices and services, click add integration, and we need to add the MQTT. Just type MQTT, MQTT again, click on it, and then you'll get this pop-up. Just click Submit and Finish. In the Add-on section again, click Zigbee to MQTT, click Configuration and go to the MQTT option. From here, scroll down and you'll find Username and Password. Fill this in with the Username and Password you set earlier in the Mosquito Add-on configuration. Then click Save and then go back to Info and then start the Add-on. Again, check the log for errors. Then you open the web UI and a pop-up like this should appear. And then you just click permit join and start pairing your devices. Now you have both Zigbee MQTT and ZHA running in Home Assistant, both in the same time. In case something runs differently like in this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will gladly help to fix that problem. Thank you for watching. Till next time, and please subscribe and like the video, that will help me a lot.